Let's jump into the actual numbers. How much is this account making? Um, and there's a few factors we can look at here. So TikTok has what they call the TikTok Creator Fund. And, you know, they basically pay creators. The TikTok Creator Fund is famously known for how terrible it pays uh, creators for their content. So on average, the TikTok Creator Fund is going to pay creators anywhere from one cent um, up to about five cents on average for their RPM. RPM is... Um, basically referring to per 1,000 views. Um, so in other words, this account, you know, if we're kind of looking at average numbers here, this account would be generating three cents for every 1,000 views. Now I looked back and they started posting about 18 months ago and they're averaging about 14 million views per month, which is insane. That's a ton, a ton of views. Um, but if we're going on the creator fund here, this account would only be making, you know, about $416 per month from the creator fund. Now, if we factor in their little subscription thing down here, we can imagine that this account would be making roughly $5,416 per month based on the creator fund. Um, but not so fast. There is actually a different program that TikTok offers. Okay. This program is called the TikTok creativity program. And, um, they put this in place to sort of replace the old creator fund. And this one actually pays a lot better. However, the catch is that the videos have to be over one minute long. So interestingly enough, if we go over to this account and we start looking through all these videos, I'll just open one here. Okay. We can see that the video is one minute and one second long. And this is going to be true for just about all of the videos. They're going to be slightly over one minute, um, which basically tells us that this account is probably part of the creativity program, which is going to pay a lot more than the old creator fund. Now, how did I come up with this 80 cents RPM? Uh, if you're on the creator side, it's referred to as RPM. If you're on the advertising side, it's referred to CPM. Um, but in this case, it is RPM because th this is how much the creator is generating in revenue. Now, the creativity program is generally going to pay, you know, anywhere from 20 cents up to $2. But here are the factors to consider. So the amount of money that you are paid is based on the audience age, based on the audience interest, based on the audience country, and things of that nature. Generally, if you have an audience in the United States, the UK, Canada, things of that nature, your RPM is going to be a little bit higher. So another pretty interesting thing that we notice here is that this account is titled Urban America Horror. Okay, Urban America Horror. And all of these ghost stories are super popular in the United States. In fact, he's targeting stories in every single state, New Mexico, Montana, Massachusetts, South Carolina. So what do we learn from that? Well, we learn that what he's doing is targeting a United States audience, creating stories that they're already going to recognize. And because he's targeting the United States, that's going to give him a little bit of a higher RPM. However, the things that are working against him are the fact that these types of channels attract a very, very broad audience. So if his channel was specifically related to business, finance, marketing, you know, things of that nature, those types of audiences are very profitable for advertisers. However, in the case of ghost stories, that's going to attract a very broad audience. I mean, all kinds of random people are going to be interested in ghost stories, and that's generally going to be less profitable for advertisers, which will in turn lower his RPM. So if he had a finance channel or something like that, I would imagine his RPM to be around $1.50. Uh, but because his channel is all ghost stories, very, very broad, I would imagine his RPM to be roughly 80 cents. So again, if we kind of look at the same numbers here, you know, he's been posting for 18 months, averaging 14 million views per month. Well, in this case, if he's part of the creativity program, he's going to be earning roughly $11,200 per month. And then again, if we factor in his little subscription thing right there, um, 
overall, he's going to be earning roughly $16,200 per month. Okay. So overall, I mean, if he's making anywhere from 10 to $20,000 per month from creating little ghost stories on TikTok, I mean, that's a pretty awesome job. I mean, that's not a bad way to make a living. However, the problem when it comes to having a business like this is that TikTok as an overall platform is generally a very unpredictable and a very unstable platform to build a business around because just as easily as they brought this program in, if it doesn't prove to be profitable for advertisers, it can just as easily go away. And because of that, well, his entire business could be gone overnight. 